Hello and welcome to an update on our railway for beginners. Um, it's been put to one side a little bit for a while because we've been doing the end gauge um, but I really wanted to do some shunting yesterday so I, I spent an hour or so just finishing it off. So the obvious changes since last time is we've got some greenery. Now this isn't really very difficult. The, you can buy these, you can see I paid 50p for that bag, but you can buy it new. It, it's about three or four pound a bag so as this is an idea of what you can go out and buy you'd only need one bag. I ran out and, and used a different bag, um, but you would only need one bag to do the whole layout. So the hills have been made, if anybody watched our most recent video, they've just been made out of this, which is foam. You can use polystyrene, you could use paper mache if you wanted, but it's as simple as make a hill, paint it green, put some PVA on it and put the scatter on it. Um, the trees are cheap. Um, Quite a few people in the UK have got these, although they're from China, it's now just as easy to get them from suppliers in the UK. And again, they're about 30 or 40 p a tree. You don't need to go spending huge sums of money. The hedge I happen to have second hand from our old Greenhill Halt layout, but again, you can buy it new, or if you look at some of our old videos, you can make it just as easily from pan scourers. Uh, green pan scourers. Um, you don't even need to cover them if you don't want, you can just use a green pan scourer. Now the back scene's a bit of an extravagance. I bought this in lockdown when it wasn't possible to buy the PK back scenes. Now the PK back scenes from a retailer, if you're not having them posted, are only about £1, £2 each. Um, so the cheapest way of doing this would be to use a PK back scene. However, I bought this, uh, it's a Gage Master back scene. I did pay about £10 for it. It is rather nice. There is only enough to do two sides, but I'm just going to put some sky above the tunnel. I particularly like it because I don't know if anybody can confirm, but I suspect that is either Ross on Y or Hay on Y, both of which are towns we've had some really nice holidays in over the years. So, especially if Doug gets down now and does a bit of a low shot, you can see it's really beginning to look like a nice little country terminus station um, and it's pretty much done I've added a fence at the end I've got a Coleman's truck um, I've put a little grounded coach body in you don't have to do that any kind of shed will do so there we go that's my layout done I've done some figures and I will do a, a video at some point on how I painted them and I've just added a car and a um, phone box to add some detail and I sat out here last night for nearly two hours, quietly, happily running my loco collection on it. Um, I am surprised at how much you can do with it with just three points. Uh, and we will do a video fairly soon on operating potential, but it's going to be quite a long video because with the coal yard and the good shed and the cattle dock, it's surprising how many different consists you can do on this. So there you go, just to finish it off, really didn't cost much money. Oh, I, I forgot to mention the tunnel mouth. That cost me six pound, it's a Pico uh, item. There are all sorts of tunnel mouths out there. The main advantage of that one is it comes ready painted. Um, and again, I've just used foam and green to support it. So it's really that simple. A bit of foam, some green paint and some scatter. Um, and a few cheap trees and you'll have your layout finished. Um, back scenes, as I say, this is just mounted on foam board, um, which you've seen me use before. It's relatively cheap to buy. I have also in the past used laminate flooring, but just use whatever you've got lying around. You could even use thick cardboard. So there we go. That's pretty much it. I will at some point add some detail around this end um, because it's a little bare at the moment, but I'm very pleased with it. So for the people that have been following it from the beginning, thank you very much. Um, I will do another video soon on how to buy the rolling stock and locos as a beginner, what your options are. Um, and as I say, we'll do an operating one um, because I'm having fun running trains at the moment. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you're all staying safe and we'll speak to you again soon. Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.